Welcome back to Hard Science. My name is Michael Raines. I'm your host. I'm here with a couple of friends today, and we're going to do the impossible. We're going to mix water and gas. Not hydrogen, not hydro boost, not any of that stuff. We're going to mix water and gas in a can, and we're going to pour it in the car. Right, guys? I don't think so. All right, all right. All right. They're going to change their tune real soon. So now, let me show you what we're going to do. E here is going to get the gas. Go get the gas. You get the water. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to Hard Science. My name is Michael Raines. Now, as I told you before the break, we're going to mix water and gas. Now, my friend E here, he's got the gas. Right, E? Yep. OK. My friend Nick here, he's got the water. Right, Nick? Yep. OK. Here's what's going to happen. E here is going to put a gallon of gas in this one gallon container. Go to it. Now E is going to put exactly one gallon of gas into this can. And Nick is going to give me 12 ounces of water. Careful, Nick. Not too much. Oh, you went over. All right, we got our gas, we got our water. E, Nick, mix them up. What? Are you serious? Pour the water in the gas. Go ahead, go ahead. Do it. Right. Do it. All right, there we go. Now, here's the problem, kids. We use too much water. We were only supposed to use 10%. We used 16 ounces, which actually means we have 15% water. So now, we're going a little ballsy here, but I'm still confident it'll work. You guys confident? <laughs> All right, but we're going to do it anyway. OK, now, we need to mix it. Who wants to mix? Kevin, you want to do the honors? Should I shake it? Yeah, you, you might want to put a top on it. <laughs> And shake it and careful because that little can there leaks. All I got to do is twist it around, make it nice and mixed. There you go. Put some motion in it, baby. So while Kevin is mixing, I'll tell you a little bit about what we're doing. We're basically mixing water and gas. Everyone says, right, it can't be done. Well, we're here to prove it can be done, and we are going to do it. So now you're going to mix it up. So let's pour it in the car and watch the car run. Right, guys? We'll come on, come on, say right. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's get outside, guys. Let's go. All right, here's our car. Good old 1994 Ford Taurus. Now, there's not much gas in here, so I'm going to put the gas and water mix. And it is the same stuff, guys. We didn't cheat, did we? No, same stuff. E, get in the car. Tell me how much gas is in it. It should be empty. All right, E, how much gas is in here? It's on empty. This is nuts. This ain't going to work. You're on empty. OK, on that's empty. all we need to know. Yeah. All right, so there it is. Water and gas in our tank. Now, what do you think, guys? Is it going to run? Let's just start the car. Find out. That's enthusiasm, ain't it? E, start the car. Let's see if it works. All right, E, give it a start. Hey, it's running. It's actually working off water. Yeah, it's gas. actually running. There's probably still some gas left in the tank. That's what it is. Well, there you have it. The gas and water is in the tank, and the car is running. And it's still running. Wait a minute, there's still some gas left in the tank, though. Yeah, you're right about that. Guys, what do you think? There is some gas left in there, but a very small amount. Now, as we all know, water is heavier than gas. So what's going to happen if we put a water-gas mixture into this tank? It's going to go to the bottom of the pickup. So even if there was a little bit of gas in there, it's not there now, because it's going to float to the top. The water and fuel is going to go to the bottom. So let there be no question that this car is running on 12% water, and what? Yeah, 88% fuel. 
So there you have it. It's not a myth. It's not a joke. It really worked. Right, guys? That's right. That's right. All right, we'll see you next time on Hard Science.